I uh, recently registered to another website, you know, for video sharing and stuff, you know. And yet again, I had to read the terms of use and the private policy, you know, or at least agree with it. And I decided, you know, I might as well take a look at it like I normally do. And yet again, it's really, really tiny lettering and really, really long paragraphs with some of the most complicated structuring of words and characters, you know forming all this mumbo-jumbo legal bullshit that they feed you. And then it dawned on me. For the terms of use in the private policy, why don't these companies just get to the, get to the point? You know? Is that, is that a bad thing? That they... Is it... Are they afraid that they're going to be less intelligent if they don't? Because really, just listing it off, you know, in bold, just simple paragraphs, doesn't have to be too simple, but simple enough that it just gets the message, the message across. But they don't do that. Instead, they ham and haw, and they just drag on and on with these... It's like they're trying to put as many words as possible. Like they're being graded on this. Like it's an English assignment. And really, when I look at this, it confuses the hell out of me. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Now some people might say, Oh, you're just illiterate. You're just stupid because you can't understand what's being said. No, I understand most of it pretty good. but. It takes a while for me to process this information and move it on to my analysis of what they're trying to tell me. Why don't they just get to the damn point and simply state what you can and can't do on the website? Is that a problem? I mean, personally, the first website I find that does this, you get my thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up. The snipe thumbs you up, okay? Because it seems like no website decides to do that. They try to act all cool beforehand, but then they have this... It's like it's pre-made, you know, from like the dawn of time. This is what it is, because if you look at most of these terms of use, it's very similar. Maybe a few words are different here and there, but it's all about this legality stuff. To cover their own ass. But instead of making it as simple enough so everyone would understand, they try to make it all this long drawn stuff. And I think part of the reason why they do this is because people say, oh yeah, whatever, uh, except. So when someone decides to screw up, when they accidentally screw up, it's not like you choose to, it just happens. They're like, oh, well, you agreed to this, so, you know. That's one of the reasons why I hate going to websites where I have to agree to this terms of use and private policy. In most cases, I don't even look too much in the private policy because I pretty much understand what most private policy things is looking for, you know, can't share, you know, account numbers, can't do all this and that when it comes to, you know, your private life and stuff like that. But the terms of use is a completely different story, you know. It's like, you know, you can do this, you can do that, but they, they try to flip it around on you. so instead of you just figuring out what you're supposed to do, they hem and haw around, you know, with like 20 different paragraphs saying what you can't do, but like it just draws on and on and on. It's just, it's ridiculous, you know? I can't be the only one that's sick and tired of these terms of use papers being so complex. You know, they should just get to the point. I'm sure that they could shorten all that down into a couple paragraphs, okay? Combine some of those little rules and stuff into a couple things. Just make it as simple and direct. If George Carlin can take the Ten Commandments and shrink it down to two with an option of a third one, then I think all these companies 
can take their terms of use and shrink it down also and make it a little bit more simple so it's less bullshit. Anyone agree?